Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I have a brand new product here from H&H. &H. This is the Mini 2X. This is a pretty compact product here that's gonna provide you with two items that are gonna be very useful in your trauma kit. So the Mini 2X is gonna combine two products, vacuum sealed, into a small package for you. This is gonna be a pressure bandage and compressed galls. So the overall dimensions here, you're looking at almost five inches long, about three and a half inches wide, and about an inch thick here. So speaking of having a small package, I wanted to build a trauma kit using the Mini 2X. Maybe this gives you some ideas on building your own trauma kit. So here we have a tourniquet. We did the EMS roll gauze because it's nice and compact. We already have compressed gauze in the Mini 2X. We have a pressure bandage. We didn't put an MPA in this one, but you could easily just log roll someone and that's gonna help protect their airway. For respiratory, we did the compact hyphen chest seals here. We get two of those. And then we have a blizzard survival blanket. All right, so let's open up the mini 2X here, take a look at it. So we're gonna have some compressed gauze. It's their mini tack gauze, non-hemostatic agent. And then we have a pressure bandage, which is a fancy ACE wrap. All right, so let's take a look at the packaging here. It's gonna be vacuum sealed, nice and compact. We have some entry points here, some tear points that we can tear open here. So here is your rolled gauze. So take a look at the pressure bandage here. We have an absorbent pad here. We also have our stretchy material here that's gonna be for the compression bandage. And then you have the clip that's gonna hold it in place. So once we get everything secure. You could use the mini tack gauze like a traditional gauze. And if you have a laceration, hold pressure. I would hold pressure for at least 10 minutes and then wrap it with your pressure bandage and control the bleeding. You can also wound pack with the mini tack gauze. So you get that really nasty wound, go in, find the source of the bleeding, hold direct pressure, put more gauze in there, holding pressure against the source of the bleeding. Once you put all the gauze that you're able to put into the wound, hold good solid direct pressure. Then we take our pressure bandage here wrap it around our square leg, okay? So we have Velcro here on this side that once you make that first loop around, it's gonna help hold it in place. Wrap it around. And then once you get done, use the clip to hold it in place. And then monitor it to make sure this doesn't bleed through. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember you need the right gear and the right training.